hey guys in this video we are going to discuss about the basics of networking so we will go through the following topics the goals of the network applications of the network types of network client and server architecture and peer-to-peer -peer architecture so let us see all these topics one by one let us first understand what a network is so a network is an interconnection of two or more autonomous computers such that they can share resources and information. So basically we can link together multiple devices or we can say system or computer systems so that they can have a communication in between them such that the information can be shared in between the two devices using other multiple sources and different type of information like video or basically digital information like video, audio, um, graphics and text and other sort of digital information that can be shared over that communication channel. So basically uh, in a network we make it enable to link multiple devices together so that ultimately they can share the information. A network enables data communication by its various features like performance, data sharing, backup, reliability, security, scalability, software and hardware compatibility. So basically why we are using the network because it is providing us the flexibility and feasibility of accessing the multiple channels and the medias through which we can link our devices and we can uh, share the information as well as we can share the resources so that each of the user can be uh, utilizing the benefit of the div uh, of the resource of the multiple other devices or computers now let us talk about the goals of a network so here are enlisted some of the goals number one is resource sharing so when we are connected to the multiple devices then we can definitely do share or we can definitely do utilize the uh, different multiple resources of different different systems like an operating system of a particular computer can be utilized by an another computer system similarly the memory of a specific computer system can be utilized by some other specific computer if they are linked together so in this way the resource utilization is maximum also it is saving the money then high reliability so when we are actually linked to a network that is secure enough and we can share the information through it then we are uh, using a reliable network then increased productivity whenever we want to share the information in an organization or apart from the organization for other purposes then it becomes efficient for us for any of the organization to share the information in a quick time and with uh, without any uh, sort of error or with, uh, with accuracy so we can rely on the network for increasing the productivity of any of the business organization then saving the money of course by sharing the resources and by quick uh, quickly having the uh, possibility of sharing the information we are saving the money we do not have to go to the place actually and we can transmit the information in uh, you by using the network itself then flexible access so if we are linked together uh, with multiple devices and uh, we have uh, followed the different protocols then definitely we have the flexibility of accessing the information from multiple devices then inter-process communication so if we are using uh, network in an organization then the multiple devices are connected to each other and in such a way that whatever operations are being conducted in an organization so these operations and resultants of documents or whatever sort of like the data is there is can be shared easily using that particular network for example using the internet we can share the documents using the gmail or different emails uh, we can send the information and other sort of like applications of that uses network we can transmit the information to the another entity so let us now talk about the applications of network uh, basically network serves 
multiple applications in different different various domains in marketing and sell, sales so basically of course uh, online shopping online advertisements we do have uh, nowadays very much popular such applications and websites wherein we can um, shop online so basically of course it enable using the network then financial services like the banking online banking services and in different financial institutions like the payment of uh, any sort of like bill or any sort of um, like payment we need to perform the withdrawal and the submission of any sort of money or check so all these activities financial activities can be conducted online then electronic messaging so we can instantly message to one another using the network then information services that is we can share multiple sort of information using the network like in uh, google we can search and we have different other uh, browsers also for the searching operations then we have different applications so in m various multiple applications we can share the information then and also we can get the information and the content from the different business organizations also then eft uh, sorry edi that is electronic data exchange that is different documents that are being shared in an organization for business activities online comes under the edi then teleconferencing so video conferencing and teleconferencing again are the very beneficial and very um efficient way of communicating with each other when it comes to uh, conduct a meeting that we cannot actually physically conduct but uh, we we also have an alternate solution of conducting a meeting a business meeting or let us say any sort of like uh, conferencing we can perform it online or with the help of network then interactive entertainment so movies are there and uh, like the television and internet using internet we can avail them various entertainment sources like netflix is there and we are using a lot of entertainment channels and movies and games also so that of course online gaming of course so that all requires network then person to person interaction so if we want to interact with someone then there are such applications that ex uh, that enable us to message uh, when we are connected online then electronic fund transfer or eft so again the various electronic uh, it, uh, electronically uh, we can perform the check submission and we can transfer the money like using google pay phone pay and other such type of uh, applications we can share the money and then on various social issues we can uh, have online discussions we can uh, create awareness to the social issues using certain applications like facebook instagram twitter and other sort of applications wherein mass number of people are connected together and can get the information and share the information with each other now another topic is types of network when it comes or when we talk about the network how it is geographically located or deployed then the network is divided into pan lan man and van so what is pan pan is personal area network that is been deployed in a very small area for example uh, we have connected uh, to another device using bluetooth so basically in such a short area in such a short range when we conduct a network then it is it comes under the pan so network established between the computer devices near a person the range of a pan typically is a few meters another one is lan or local area network that we have laid out in limited geographically area for example in an office building or in a complex of a building or campus in a college campus and area coverage again is in few kilometers or in few meters then if we talk about the man then it is metropolitan area network then man is designed to extend over an entire city so it will definitely be bigger or a large area covering the large area than the lan like an entire city so the network that we laid out in an entire city or district then it comes under the man it normally comprises networked interconnections that also offers connection to the internet then we have wan so it is the wide area network or net connect or network of networks so basically wan is 
extends over a large geographical area it is network that connects smaller networks so when we are connecting multiple small and big networks then it compose a wan now talking about the another topic which is network architecture so network architecture of a computer network specifies a complete set of rules for the connections and interactions of its physical and logical components for providing and utilizing communication services so basically when we talk about the architecture of a network then it means how are we are using or deploying the network its physical and logical configurations and using uh, numerous protocols and hardware equipments then it is uh, called network architecture so basically we can classify it as client server network and peer to peer network so first of all let us talk about the client server architecture here in the diagram we can see that there is a client and there is a server now the client request any sort of query from the server the server fetch the information from its database uh, let's say data warehouse or from other various different sources and then a uh, response back to the client so such type of network is called the client server architecture so basically client server network is a network model designed for the end users called clients to access the resources such as songs video etc from a central computer which is known as server server performs all the major operations such as security and network management so there are various other tasks of the server uh, other than only uh, responding to the client it also manages the network the server is also responsible for managing all the resources also such as the files directories printer etc now all the clients communicate with each other through a server so in a client server network if one device want to uh, communicate with another device then first of all it would have to connect to the server another type of architecture is peer to peer architecture here in, in in the diagram we can see that there are multiple nodes or devices and each of the device is connected to the another device with a dedicated link so here in we can say that one device has an has an end to end connection with the another device or peer to peer connection with the another device so peer to peer is a network in which all the computers are linked together with equal privilege and responsibilities for processing the data here in each of the uh, device or node will be assigned some responsibilities and uh, authorities through which it can access some sort of data and resources from with the another computer or off the another computer system it has no dedicated server so basically here in we do not need a server in order to communicate with each other that is if one device want to communicate with the another device then they can directly communicate with each other without involvement of any server special permissions are assigned to each computer for sharing the resources but this can lead to a problem if the computer with the resource is down now in such kind of architecture here is a problem that if two entities are connecting to each other and if one uh, entity fails due to some reason then the other another entity which is which rely on that particular entity cannot uh, carry out the process so in such cases uh, this may lead to the problem that is the the communication cannot be established so that is all for this particular video we will discuss more about the network in another video thank you